closet organization. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I wanted to talk about a few closet tips to keep your closet organized. For me, I think it's necessary for us as fashion girlies to keep our things organized. Otherwise, we're gonna have a hard time, one, getting ready for work or just getting dressed just for the day-to-day -day life. My goal today is to give you 10 tips that'll help you organize your closet. The first thing would be matching hangers. It sounds very, you know, like, ah, just hangers. But to be quite honest, with everyone really moving towards the whole aesthetic thing, having hangers that do not match is gonna drive you insane. So it's a very small thing, they're not expensive. Amazon has a ton of them. I'll see if I can find some and link them for you. And go for a color that you can find often. And I would recommend definitely going for the velvet hangers. They are a lot slimmer and you can your clothes are sitting a lot neater in your closet. Plastic hangers are a no and wire hangers are a no, ladies. <laughs> With that, you wanna make sure you organize your clothes by type and then color. So I have a ton of blazers here and I like to put my blazers in one section and then I start to color coordinate them in that area. That way, if I wanna wear a blazer today, or a certain color, I'm like, okay, I want a red blazer, let me just go to my blazer section. So if you do have the space for that, I would definitely recommend doing that. It's something that would definitely help you getting dressed every day. Organizing your clothes by type and then color is the second thing. The third thing would be having your closet tools. I just did a video on this and your closet tools are things like your steamers, your lip brushes, your sewing kits, things like that. Those are good those are good things to have to organize so that when you do have a button that pops off, you can just go ahead and grab your sewing kit, sew that button back on as opposed to having buttons just sitting all over the place in your closet. Jewelry organizers, okay. Back in the day, we used to just hang our things on like little hangers and like being creative, but they have a ton of jewelry organizers now that are needed. If you do not have a wardrobe, like an Ikea packs or something built in, they still have things that you can actually put your jewelry in. And when you open it up, you can definitely hang like necklaces. Having your jewelry in a de designated place is going to help you stay organized. For the girlies who do have a ton of necklaces, you definitely need to organize your necklaces. Otherwise, they're gonna get tangled and who wants that? So your goal for you is to buy something where you can have your necklaces spread out or to where they're not tangling with each other. So definitely a jewelry organizer is another thing that you should keep in your closet to have it organized. Let's get into sunglasses. Sunglasses also, you wanna organize your sunglasses or you wanna put them in a place where you are able to see them. Here's the thing. People are buying expensive sunglasses left and right, but then there are a lot of girls who buy sunglasses from Amazon and they're a lot cheaper and you can get a lot more, right? So now you have all these sunglasses in this drawer. No, let's organize our sunglasses, put them in a place where we can see them, put the really nice ones up front, the ones that you wear often in the front and then kind of go from there. But having a drawer or a designated place for your sunglasses is another good way to be organized in your closet. Valet rods. Here's why I love valet rods. I have the Ikea pack system and they have like some sort of valet rod, but it doesn't come out. So I went to Amazon and I found one, just drilled it in and now I have a valet rod. The reason why I like valet rods is because you can set the clothes up front that you are going to be wearing for that week or even that day. And that way you can see the items. Also, I like to utilize my valet rod to add new in pieces. That way I know that I need to style them for a video. They're very cheap, but they're very, they're very much so needed guys. So definitely get you a valet rod to organize your outfit of the days, anything that you're doing for like any content, things that you need to shoot, all that good stuff. So definitely check out the valet rod. So let's, let's get into pants pants and jeans. You want to be able to have your pants in an area where they're not being uh, messed up by a hanger or anything like that. So Ikea has a pullout that is for your pants. The newest one doesn't hold as many as the original one did. 
However, you can still slide a couple of pans on each one, maybe even three, and then you don't have to worry about your pants having like that awkward hanger print by the knees. <laughs> so get something to organize your pants and your jeans, and then you're a golden. A rolling rack. All right, rolling racks are needed. They have really large ones, and then they have small ones. Ikea has two. One, do they both have wheels? I think they both maybe have wheels, but there's one that does not have uh, shelves on it, and then there's one that does. They're very affordable, they're sturdy, but you wanna have a rolling rack, again, for things like maybe you're creating content and you want to just have a ton of stuff a, a ton of stuff on a rack that you want to style or even just for additional space. I personally have two in my home, one in this closet and one in my master closet and I still have stuff on. <laughs> but it's a good idea to just have them because you could actually roll them around in your room if you needed to. You can lift them up and drag them anywhere you would like. So get you rolling racks in your closet. You don't have to get one that is going to stay there if you don't want to. You can get ones that you can take apart and just slide them out the way but definitely get you a rolling rack. It's going to help with your Newton items. It's more space than a valet rod, so it is gonna help with your Newton items and you preparing maybe to create content or something for a video. So definitely get you a rolling rack. All right, full length mirrors. Let me tell y'all something. We as women know we need a full length mirror. A lot of us don't have them. Ikea, is your best friend they have two mirrors that are huge they actually have three but this one is this other one is like a circle they have the hubbit mirror and then they have actually i think there's three the hubbit i forget the name of the, the other one there's two more uh, but the hubbit is the main one because it has a really thin frame but it's like a 78 inch height mirror I think they went up on price a little bit but it's not to the point where you can't like um kind of save for it but get you a full-length mirror it is a necessity okay for your car the last thing I would say is an ottoman with storage a little stool in your closet is really needed and the reason why I'm saying get something with storage because it's a good way to organize anything that you want to keep out of sight for example if you have a ton of like lenses that you keep in your closet because you do content you can put them in there it's away from the sun it's away from dust and it'll be a good place to add stuff also in this ottoman you can definitely start adding in like maybe like your flat sandals if you don't have space for it bunch of slides it's just a good way to organize and hide things that you want to keep out of sight if you have a full closet with like maybe a chair or a little small sofa and you lay down, you can put your throws in there. But it's a good way to have a little bit of storage in places that people would not necessarily think is for storage. I'm gonna say one last thing on how to stay organized is put your stuff back, ladies. If you are hanging out with the girls and you come home and you wanna take off a jacket or something, don't throw it away. Put it back, <laughs> put it back, put it in an area where you know stuff ready for the dry cleaners or for the laundry but put the items away a good rule of thumb is when you come before you leave your home and you are like going to hang out with the girls try to clean up as you go while you're getting dressed otherwise you're not going to want to clean all that stuff up when you're dressed being organized again does help with getting dressed and it actually helps you kind of discover what you need in your closet and what you do not need being organized goes along with being a stylish woman because if you're not organized, you're never going to be able to see the amazing clothes that's in your closet. So those are 10 tips that I would recommend you guys incorporating to organize your closet. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com, and my style services, Coco Styles NY. and I'm on tickety tickety talk, Coco Styles NYC, <laughs> TikTok guys, I can't, um, and I will catch you guys in the next one, bye guys.